How's it going guys? Joe Ross here with Cerulean Games coming to you with another pickup video. Been a while since I put one of these out, been uh, pretty busy with graduate school the last few months, but uh, lately I've gotten a nice little stack of stuff going and I thought I'd make a little video to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, for the PS2, I've got a copy of Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death. Decent game is complete. Just got a copy of Monster Hunter. No manual, sadly. And a copy of Silent Hill Origins. It does have the manual, but it is in a replacement case with replacement cover art, sadly, but still a good game. Uh, these next uh, Genesis games I got from Disc Replay in Indianapolis. Um, they're kind of a chain store throughout the Midwest, but uh, I was in town doing some research, stopped by some of the local stores, and found a few uh, good deals. Had to pick them up. Uh, first couple are... I actually got two copies of this. It's Rocket Knight Adventures. This one is complete. Pretty clean. And the second copy. This one, I believe, is 100% complete. Uh, very nice. Have to get these. These are going up in value lately. Uh, also got a copy, a black box, black label, copy of Golden Axe. Very clean. Never owned this game before. Happy to get it. And also picked up a copy of Sunset Riders. It also, I believe, is 100% complete. Uh, for Sega Saturn, we got a copy of Dark Savior. Those have the foam insert. Pretty clean disc. Manual is not too shabby. I uh, picked up a copy of Pokemon Yellow for Game Boy Color. Pretty clean copy of Gomon's Adventure for N64. Uh, while we were at Retropalooza down in Houston, um, I didn't really pick up a whole lot. I did one trade for a Turtles in Time, which is a pretty bad label, and I don't have that game anymore. And I also purchased this, Stunt Racer for N64. Uh, sadly, it has gone down in value. Uh, since when I first got it, um, it was, I don't know, it was all over the place. Uh, and it was kind of on the back side of the, that jump it had a few months ago. Uh, I think some were selling for $250 at one point. Um, so this one has settled down for a bit. But still, very rare game. Any N64 completionist is going to need this. Uh, from my buddy Matt over at Forever Games. Did a little trade a couple weeks ago. Picked up Kirby Superstar. Uh, these next few I got from my buddy uh, Chris Lake. Uh, him and his brother Johnny, they're pretty uh, active up in the New York area. Um, I buy from them quite often and I was happy with this deal. Picked it up at uh, Retro Game Con up in Syracuse. Uh, first one is Secret of Mana. Very clean label. Happy to have that one. And I got a nice little stack of PS2, uh, PlayStation, including Saga Frontier 2. Diablo, Persona 2, good Atlas title, Castlevania Chronicles, a uh, pretty rare one is Herc's Adventure, this one getting up there in price, ever so popular Clock Tower 2, and one of people, some of People's favorite shooter on the system, Einhander. I need to get a replacement uh, case for it because it's cracked pretty bad, but pretty clean on the inside. Happy to get this. Let's see, um, for NES, I got a little stack here. Let's see, we've got a couple copies of Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Can always use those. So, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, these next four um, I got from my buddy uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Crone, Crone Boner on IG, I believe. Uh, it is Mega Man 1, 2, 3, and 4. Got those for trade, um, little trade cash deal that we have, so I'm happy to pick those up. 
Uh, also from Disc Replay out in Indy, I picked up a pretty rare uh, NES game. It's an Atlas title. Um, it's going up for price lately. I had to pick it up. And it is a copy of Widget. Very clean label. Um, actually, I've never owned this game. Uh, I came close one time, and I have uh, I have owned uh, Super Widget on Super NES before, too. But this is one of the few Atlas games on the system, and it's a toughie. Uh, also from my buddy Matt at Forever Games, uh, through a trade, I picked up Swamp Thing. Very clean label. This one is shooting up in price as well. Uh, people are realizing that it's a tough one to find. Um, happy to get another copy of this. This is my either second or third copy, I think. So it's a tough one. <clears throat> and also from Chris Lake up at Retro Game Con, I picked up a copy of Scat. Never owned this before. Happy to get it. Very clean label. Um, it's a, it's a tough NES game. You don't see it that often, just like Swamp Thing. So, happy to pick that up. Uh, these next two are complete inbox NES. Um, I got them. I have a buddy of mine who lives up in Northwest Ohio, uh, and we do a lot of dealing here and there. Uh, he picked these up at a garage sale, um, along with a bunch of other more common stuff that's not in this video. But uh, these are actually not that bad. And the first one is Super C. Pretty clean box, actually, uh, especially for Konami. Um, these silver boxes, they seem to just deteriorate more so than any any other ones. Um, again, this is pretty... I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but it has great form. Uh, it does have the manual. Pretty clean label on the game. Happy to pick this one up. And then also, we got a copy of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Um, decent cartridge. Not bad. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. This color is actually pretty good on the uh, label. Um, it does have the uh, letter to the player as well. I don't know if this has ever been unfolded or not. Um, it's pretty crisp. Uh, it's missing the manual, however. Um, I'm in the process of trying to find one uh, to complete this. But And then we also have what is an extremely nice box. Um, for black ink, this is amazing. Uh, there are tip touches on the corners. Nothing too serious, though. There is no crushing on this. There's some scuffing or paper loss there on the bottom, I think. Uh, this is just an overall amazing, amazing box for this game. Um, this is a this is a primo piece. Uh, I'm happy. I'm really happy to have this. Uh, he was actually he was pretty ecstatic. He didn't really realize how much uh, the box is worth in this kind of condition. So he was happy with what I gave him for it. But uh, I am. I'm looking for a a minty label, um, a little a manual to go with this to complete it. Because it deserves that. Um, and this will make someone's collection very happy. <laughs> Alright, well that wraps up what I have to show you in this video. Um, all this should be available. My next show is the West Virginia Sports Card and Collectible Show. That is at the Huntington Mall. Uh, don't, let the, don't let the name fool you. There's usually three to four video game dealers set up there as well. Uh, that is January 20th through the 22nd. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Huntington Mall, Barbersville, West Virginia. Um, pretty good show. I will be there set up uh, at least on Friday and Saturday, maybe Sunday, not sure yet. But if you got anything you want to sell or trade, please bring it by the booth. Uh, I'd be happy to take a look at it. Uh, well, that wraps up. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching, and Happy New Year as well.